I'm going to do a quick overview of the reloading process for someone who might be considering reloading but doesn't know all the steps. This will be a brief overview. I'll do some subsequent videos to go through the techniques and the process itself, as well as the equipment used. So there's a couple of reasons why someone might reload. Um, because availability of ammo, maybe availability of particular ammo they want, to develop a round for a specific rifle that achieves a specific velocity, uses a specific projectile, something that's not as easily commercially available. Um, also, you can save a little bit of money by reloading yourself or just the simple enjoyment of the satisfaction you get out of making a piece of ammo and then shooting it. So what we have here is a piece of loaded final ammunition. We have a spent shell casing that would be injected from the rifle. We have a resized shell casing. We have the components that you would need to add new to that shell casing to make a final round again. So when you fire this projectile, um, the primer goes off, ignites the powder, the projectile moves down the barrel, and you're left with the spent shell casing. You can see this spent shell casing has a primer, has a firing pin strike in the back of the primer. There's no more projectile, there's no more powder in it. It's basically just a piece of brass. In order to reuse this again, you need to remove that old primer, press it out and that primer comes out. But you're still not ready to reload because during the fire event, this piece of brass expanded to the chamber and barrel dimensions, so it no longer holds a projectile. The projectile simply falls right through it. So you have to resize that case in order to bring it back down to dimensions that fit in the chamber easily and to make that neck small enough that it'll hold a new projectile. So after you resize it, you can then add a new primer, you press it in the back, and you have a primed case. That primed case can be filled with powder, a new projectile can be pressed in, and then you're ready. You have another fully loaded round ready to shoot. Like this video, let me know if you have any comments and subscribe to my channel so you can see some of the equipment and the steps in the reloading process. Thank you.